Today at Northley Porter House, we're looking around this incredible BMW M5, finished in Singapore grey with 20 inch alloy wheels and the contrasting silverstone interior we can see just inside there. Also has the additional carbon fibre front splitter, side skirt, rear diffuser, and spoiler lip. Really high spec on this one. We'll go over some of that once we get inside the vehicle. Another nice touch is the upgraded rear lights from the facelift M5. And luckily enough, I can show you the difference from the other M5 we have in over there. So if we move around, we can see the carbon spoiler lip and the rear diffuser. Nice subtle touches, it's making it feel really special. Got Michelin tyres all round, averaging 5 mil. An incredible service history with seven services in total. Six from BMW and one from an independent specialist. You can see how nice the interior looks with the Singapore grey on the outside. Of course it has the carbon roof as well, matching the carbon exterior. And we'll just take a closer look around the end. You see the camera there in between the grills for the 360 cameras. So we'll just have a look inside now. So just starting off on the passenger side, we can see the Silverstone lever just across the door card there. We've got the memory seats with massage function, it's on the door there, and the upgraded Bowers and Wilkins sound system. Also got the blind spot assist, you can see a little triangle in the corner of the wing mirror there. Moving inside, we've got the M Performance floor mats and the Silverstone interior. Looking absolutely brilliant. It's also got the Alcantara headlining, a bit difficult to show up on the video, to be honest, and the carbon across the dash there as well. Moving into the rear now, and again, door card all in excellent condition, as is the rear of the passenger seat. And the rear seats, again, all in excellent condition. Also got this armrest in the middle, some really cool cup holders. And we've got the heated seats and climate control for the rear passengers as well. And just moving into the boot space now, got the electronic tailgate. The boot space all in excellent condition. We fold down the rear seats just off the handle here, and we've got the pump and tire weld in place there as well. And just moving into the rear driver's side now again, door cards all in excellent condition. See the Bowers and Wilkins speakers just there, back of the driver's seat in excellent condition, as is the lever in the rear. You can also see the Bowser uh, Wilson system from Alcantara up there as well. And finally, just looking at the driver's side now. Again, door card all in good condition. We've got the window and mirror controls just there with the memory function and massage there as well. And then the boot release just down there. Moving inside, you can see driver's seat still in excellent condition. So the driver's bolster is where you expect to see the most wear. Still presented really well with the M5 illuminated in the headrest and the steering wheel also in excellent condition. It does also have the soft close function, not trying to display that now. So we're jumping and getting started now. So we're just in the driver's seat and it's push button to start. You see that incredible V8, I just did the windows up while it warms up. And we can also see the Bowser and Wilkins just lighting up inside there, really cool speakers. Really nice upgrade having that. So we've got the digital display for the climate control just here. And we've also got the heated seat function and ventilated seat function for the cool seats in the summer months. The original book packs just there in the glove box and the widescreen nav just showing up there as well. Do have multiple driving modes and you can set them up on the M1. You can just see that change into sport and M2 buttons. You see some more changes there as well. You can set them up individually to yourself. It does also have the high beam assist. Don't think I can activate that at the moment. Just turn that on auto. There you go. You can see that just coming up there. So just going into the iDrive now, into my vehicle. The status, into the history. Got the running in service to begin with. 
for engine oil, right fluid, inspection, major service with plugs, right fluid, and engine oil there as well. So all the service history up to date. Let's get back out of here now. We've got the driver profiles for the uh, setting up on the media screen and then the M setup. Just click into there. We've got the M1 and M2 buttons on the steering wheel, and you can also adjust the head up display for that as well. And the X drive, of course. I'll try and display if I just zoom in here. You can see the head up display showing there as well. And if I put this into plus. You can see the head-up display has changed slightly so you can see the revs have changed there it's a slightly different head-up display once you're in the sport plus mode we we'll just put it over into reverse we can see we've got the rear cam on the right hand side and then the 360 cam in the photo bay on the left hand side and you can also adjust the gearbox settings just on top of the gear stick there as well put that back into park so i think that is most of the features for the interior so we'll let the vehicle warm up and then we'll see what it sounds like Okay guys, so let the vehicle warm up and we'll see what it sounds like in comfort mode. Not bad at all. And then we're going to Sport Plus mode now and also activate the M exhaust. Fantastic. So guys, that's the end of the video. I hope that's been informative. Any questions or queries, please do get in touch with the sales team. Our contact details should be on the screen now. Thank you.